whether it's curry puffs, french fries, or crispy fried chicken. Fried food can be found everywhere. It's popular and super delicious. I mean, isn't that why we love McDonald's? Besides making our taste buds happy, fried food also involves some really interesting chemistry. In every good, there is bad. Fried food is known to be dangerous to our health, but do we really know how and why? This is due to the presence of a compound called acrylamide. Acrylamide is a potentially toxic and cancer-causing substance that can be naturally present in raw food in very small amounts. But for this substance to pose a risk of toxicity or cancer, it must be present in food in much larger amounts. And these large amounts do not occur unless the food have been cooked by frying, roasting, baking or broiling. Besides that, when cooking is done by boiling, steaming or microwaving, there are lesser chances for the formation of acrylamide. This is because cooking at high temperatures causes a chemical reaction. It occurs through a chemical reaction called the Maillard reaction which involves sugar and asparagine which results in the formation of acrylamide. This gives a browning effect and distinctive flavors. These amino acids create a bunch of intermediate compounds. The structure of these products rearrange and produces other intermediates, which creates a range of delicious flavors and aromatic compounds. Therefore, longer cooking time and also cooking at high temperatures approximately above 120 degrees leads to the increase in the amount of acrylamide in food. Thus, Fried food, most commonly fried potatoes, contain very high levels of acrylamide compared to other food. People who consume fried food in high quantities are prone to certain cancers such as the kidney, endometrial and ovarian cancer. This has been proven with studies using laboratory animals. Some expert agencies such as the EFSA suggest that acrylamide is a human carcinogen which has the potential to cause cancer. However, the FDA has regulated to reduce the amount of acrylamide in certain food. As consumers, we can be responsible by following the instructions on the food packaging. Avoid storing raw potatoes in the fridge as this leads to the formation of more free sugar promoting an increase in the amount of acrylamide. On top of all, we should practice a balanced diet to live a healthy lifestyle. Created using Powtoon.